extension of the bralette. I'm just going to attach it with red. And for this, this is where we're going to do the, um, <clears throat> what is it? Like a mesh type of stitch. So yeah, you're going to attach it and then you're going to chain three or four, depending on how you attach your yarn. And that is going to count as a double crochet and a chain. So yeah, you're going to chain up three or four. And then you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the stitch after that. So yeah, that's us. Skip that, skip the next stitch and go into the stitch after that. Double crochet right into that. Then just chain up one. Skip the next stitch. Double crochet in the next one. And you're just going to continue the chain one. Skip a stitch. Double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, and you're just gonna do that all the way down. Yep, you're just gonna do that all the way down. And once you get to the middle, you want to make sure that a double crochet falls into the first, the first chain in the middle, the third chain in the middle, and the fifth chain in the middle, so that it's you know equal down the center. Section. Yep. And once you um you know get across the middle section, you're just gonna continue down doing the same thing till you get to the very end. Also, we are still switching colors every round on the bodice part too. And y'all, I swear I don't even like switching colors because I just hate all the ends. But I will say that this top was definitely worth every end that had to be sewn in. It was just, I love this top. It really came out so much better than um, <clears throat> I initially thought that it would. And mind you guys, when I was recording, I was basically like just freehanding this. Like I literally made this order on camera. But yeah, here we are at the very end. And just putting that last one in and of course you know you don't finish off that very last double crochet because we are going to be changing colors and let me tell y'all um with the single crochet in this next row that first chain one does not count as a stitch. I repeat, that first chain one does not count as a stitch. But yeah, that's how it should look so far. So yeah, we're just going to um, switch in with the orange yarn. How we've been doing all the way throughout the whole entire video. And again, this pattern is the same too. Like, you know, it's basically the mesh row, then two rows of single crochet, then another row of mesh, then two more rows of single crochet, and then a row of mesh. But yeah. But for those of you who can't get with the pattern, we're just gonna walk, I'm gonna walk you through it. But yeah, that first um chain does not count as a stitch. So you're just gonna turn your work and you're going to put two single crochets in each chain space so you get to the very end so yeah again that first chain does not count as your stitch so that's right you just put Two single crochets in each chain space till you get to the very end of this. Again, you guys, let me know if I am moving too fast. 
in this tutorial. But I mean, I just feel like it's just so simple. I mean, it's really not much to say about it. Mm -mm. I probably should like add some music to this part, but y'all, I don't even, I don't, it's so hard trying to find like copyright free music. And then I'm like, I might choose some music that annoys y'all. So maybe we should just crochet in silence. If I can ever stop talking. But yeah, here we are at the very end. Now with this last one, you're going to put two in the chain space. But don't forget that you also have to add the single crochet to that very last double crochet right there. You might have to move some stitches to see it, but... <clears throat> right there in that chain two space you're gonna throw that last double crochet in there but of course you remember don't finish off because we have to switch colors now we're um using the yellow and again just chain up one or two depending on how you attach your colors turn and single crochet in the same stitch as your chain because single crochets do not count as a stitch. And then we're just going to um, single crochet all the way down. And that's really basically the pattern for the bodice. Again, it's the mesh, single crochet row, single crochet row. And then repeat once again with the mesh, single crochet, single crochet. It's pretty simple. I should probably let y'all know I did not um, do the fringe on camera. I actually, it's a macrame. I think that's how you pronounce it. Macrame, um, like little design on the bottom. I wanted to record it for you guys, but like, you know, I, I record these by myself. So I didn't have anybody to like record me while I added it on there. So I'll leave some um, links in the description of how to do that though. It's Cause I mean, I watch videos, but here we are at the last Single crochet, and again, we are switching out colors for the green. And this time, we are going to chain up three, and that counts as the double crochet plus a chain one. And, of course, you know, you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet in the stitch after that. So yeah, that's just us turning the work. Let me get us back in focus. Yeah, we're going to skip that first stitch and go right into the next with a double crochet. And then we're just going to chain one, skip the stitch, double crochet in the next, and continue doing that all the way down. We are almost at the end of this, you guys. We are on the last stretch. Well, not really. We still got a little bit more to go, but we, we're almost there. Coming along very nicely. Yep, here we are at the very end. That last chain one double crochet. And again, you know, we do not finish off because we have to change colors to the purple. Or is that, no, I'm sorry, that's not purple, you guys. That is blue. I don't know what I just seen. But yep, attach it. And of course, we're back to the um, a single crochet row. So, just um, get it reattached here. Just chain up one, and of course, that does not count as a stitch. You're going to turn your work, if we can get right. And single crochet in this. Wait, I'm sorry. This is a two in each chain space. I'm sorry. 
to write two single crochet in each chain space till we get to the very end y'all it's like almost two o'clock in the morning I'm trying to get this tutorial out to you guys so we can move on to the next one which leads us to another question which would you guys like to see first the birthday bodycon dress or the hmm I don't even know the options yet I'm gonna get some options up and I'm gonna put a poll and whichever one wins is the next tutorial we'll be doing but yeah here we are coming up on the very end of this and remember two single crochets in every chain space but on that very last one don't forget to add that single crochet in that very last double crochet on the end because you definitely don't want to forget it and throw your stitch count off but yep don't finish off because we are switching colors once more to the purple this is our last row of single crochet so again we're gonna chain one or two depending on how you change colors turn your work and you're going to single crochet in that same stitch and all the way down to the very end I know that looked kind of fuzzy, but let me just say it one more time. All you did was chain up one, turn your work, single crochet in that same stitch because that chain up one did not count as a stitch and single crochet all the way down. And here we are coming up on this last row of singles and we are just going to switch out colors with our contrast color which is black for me I don't know what color you guys are using but I'm using black and just you know reattach as usual and once again we are going to be doing the chain up three which is the double crochet chain one skip that next stitch and double crochet in the stitch after that so yeah chain up three i hope i'm not confusing y'all with the how many chains you're supposed to chain up i hope i explained it well enough for you guys to understand the difference but yeah you're skipping that next stitch and go right into that one after that and do a double crochet chain up one skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next as we've been doing throughout the whole entire bodice and just do it all the way down and once you get to the very last double crochet you're just going to finish off and we are done with the biggest part of the project all that's going to be left to do is put on the edging and the body straps. So yeah, just do that all the way down. Here we are coming up on the end of this. Yep, that's how it should look. Let me just finish off by cutting the yarn so we're gonna reattach to put the edging on we're just gonna reattach right at the base edge of one of the cups and just reattach our yarn I hope you can kind of see where I put it so I didn't show you guys very well but yeah right there in the corner and you're just gonna chain up one and pull on that loose end real tight 
Make sure you got it in tightly. And then all you're going to do is place two single crochets in each chain space <clears throat> across the top. And once you get to the last two single crochets, you are just going to chain about 70 to 80, depending on how long you want your body straps to be. And then single crochet all the way back down to the very end. Of course, I'm not going to show that on camera. But yeah, so just place two single crochets in each one all the way down till you get to the first edge where we'll add the body strap. And I'm just trying to get the strings out of the way. Yep, this is the last two. Again, I'm still trying to get all these ends. It's just so many with all the color changes. They're just everywhere. Yep, so now this is where you're going to start chaining for your body chain. Chain how many you want and then come back down. Yep, so here we are. Now for this edge, we're going to place two single crochets in each double crochet edge and one single crochet in each single crochet edge. So yeah, I'm just coming down the end of my body strap. So right here, that's a double crochet edge. So we're just going to put two single crochets right in there. And then you have two, two single crochet edges. You're just going to put a single crochet in each one, one for the orange, one for the yellow. I love how you can, you know, see where to put it because of the color changes because usually it's so hard. And then two right here in this green double crochet edge. One in the blue edge, one in the purple edge. My camera's just kind of moving all kind of ways. And then two in the edge of the black double crochet. And then we're going to, once again, chain for our body straps and single crochet all the way back down. I usually chain um, about 70 or 80 for my body straps. But yep, here we are back at the end of the body strap and now once again all you're gonna do is place two single crochets in each chain space all the way down y'all I got the hotline over here my phone is booming at 1.48 in the morning. Happy 4th of July, you guys. It is Tuesday where I am at this time. So, yeah, here we are coming up on the end of that. And, again, we're going to chain for our body chains and single crochet all the way back down. And then we're just going to come up on this edge like we did the other edge two in each double crochet edge and one in each single crochet edge oh i'm getting a little sleepy i'm glad we're coming up on the end of this The last two and that last double crochet edge and then once again chain for your body straps. And here we are. Right back. And once again two in each chain space till we get to the other corner. 
of the base of the cup. And all you're going to do is just slip stitch once you get there. But yeah, to where each of these chain spaces. Yes, we're at the end. I'm hype. We at the end. Yep. But two in that last chain space and just slip stitch right into the corner of that cup. And that is it besides the fringe. You know, you just add the fringe, however. Like I said earlier, I will drop links to some macrame tutorials for the different types of knots that you guys can do. You know, if you get a little inspired. I was inspired by the square knot. That's what I put. But yeah, I'm showing you now. You're going to put the fringe on every other post, every other double crochet post up under it so um i had 18 you should have about 18 posts and it's six colors so you can do three three posts of each color but yeah that is it you guys like that's the end of this tutorial i hope you guys liked it be sure to check out everything in the description box because I, it, I know it was a lot that I needed to tell you guys and explain to you guys that I just couldn't in this tutorial. Because I always edit it and up everything and I don't have enough time to put everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me feedback. Let me know what you guys think of this tutorial. Do I need to slow down? Do I need to speed up? Do I need to stop talking as much? Do I need to talk more? You know, just let me know. Give me some feedback. I would love to see your pictures of this. Again, like I said, I'm going to create a group called Chasing Sunray on Facebook. So, you know, we can keep up with everything and I can stay super in touch with you guys. So I know what you know up so i know what you guys like and all of that also you guys we are almost at a thousand subscribers here on youtube we're already at a thousand subscribers on instagram and because of that i'm really wanting to do a giveaway so yeah make sure you guys like subscribe share this so we can get this giveaway on the road i think i'm actually going to do it once we get a thousand people on the facebook group then i'll do one but that is it. That's the end of this tutorial. And until next time, you guys, happy hooking.